Okay, so here we have another problem that's asking us to use a zero to use the factor theorem to verify whether uh, x plus four is a factor. So I have to write down the coefficients, which are a five, a sixteen, a minus fifteen, an eight, and a sixteen. There aren't any skipped powers. Four, three, two, one. Zero, so we don't have to add a zero in between. Uh, we do have to write this as x minus negative four. So this is going to be a negative four. We're going to always bring down the five. Negative five, negative four times five is minus 20. Then 16 minus 20 is a negative four. Negative four times negative four is a 16. Positive 16, negative 15 plus 16 is a positive 1. Negative 4 times 1 is a negative 4. 8 minus 4 is 4. And negative 4 times 4 is minus 16, a remainder of 0. Uh, that means that x plus 4 is indeed a factor. And I think it's worth me... Um, just explaining that a little more carefully. So it turns out that if you take 5x to the fourth power plus 16x to the third power minus 15x to the second power plus 8x plus 16, that we can, if we were to divide that by x plus 4, we would get 5x, you've got to go down a power, so to the third power, minus 4x to the second power, plus 1x, plus 4, uh, and there's no remainder. So what we like to do, and I'm just going to put this in parentheses, what we like to do is actually um, move this divisor up here, basically multiply both sides by it. Uh, and then you can see that, let's see. Um, I try to erase that, but I, I think I lost something, but uh, nothing crucial. It was a division x plus 4. Uh, I wanted to cancel that because I uh, multiplied by both sides. But basically, this polynomial up here can be broken up into two factors, which is what we're trying to say here. And the way to figure that out, whether indeed it's a factor, is if we get a remainder of zero.